Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. If you are new, my name is Sheik and we're doing a recap today of our Ultimate Decades Challenge. So we're almost 50 years in and I figured because it is a new year, even though our channel is not quite a year old yet, this was a perfect time to do a recap and also say thank you to all of you for loving these Sims as much as I do. I have had an absolute blast with this and I cannot wait to see what 2024 brings to our channel and what the Squires get up to along the way. First, we're going to do a very quick speed run through the most important points. Then we're going to take a very deep dive into the new family tree that I had to redo, which is why this recap is running a little bit late, but it is done now. We're going to take a deep dive into that. I wanted to make sure that I got this video out before the plague and that way we all get a refresher at where we're currently at and all of the things that have happened and then if anybody new that is coming in wants to start this would be the perfect place for them to start right before the black plague right before everything changes and we kind of it's probably going to end up being a scenario where we're basically starting over so I definitely wanted to get this done before the black plague which I think we only have one episode left before the plague so if you are new this is the perfect place for you to begin and for the rest of you let's take a look back on all that we have accomplished so far with our lovely squires I thank you all for being here today for all of your support on the channel the channel is not quite a year old yet but when that anniversary date rolls around we will do another fun thing thing like this but because it is a new year I just wanted to sincerely thank you all for taking me on this journey that really surprised me and I know I'm not perfect and I know I've made mistakes along the way but I have done my best to fulfill what I set out to do and also take into account your suggestions along the way as well and make sure that I'm delivering the content that you want to see. I know I can't do that for absolutely everybody but I have really done my best to take into account all of the suggestions that I have gotten since the start of this journey. So thank you all so much for your patience with me. Thank you for growing and learning with me. And yeah, let's look back on what we have accomplished so far. Here we go, speed round before we get into diving deep into the family tree. This is the recap from the years 1300 to 1345, which we have completed so far. And this is the Squire Legacy. We have our main heirs throughout the years. Number one, our founder, Runar. Number two, Folky. Folk. Number three, Edward. We are currently still playing through Edward's story. And then Edward's son, Francis. So here they are with their birth dates. We love them all so much. From Runar to Folk in 1300 when he was just a baby. It was all so much fun. And I just wanted to quickly go over our side households. We have the Wainwrights, led by none other than Chef's Kiss, Henry. <laughs> then we have the string fellows and then we have the humes family with edith at the head currently as our main character there and then we have the squires with sawyer and his kiddos those are our main side household characters but there are some outliers uh eleanor rune and mare eleanor is a mistress rune faked his death and ran off with a man and mare just disappeared or did she Okay, everyone, here we go. Deep dive into the family tree. This is the Family Echo app. Unfortunately, there are ads on here, but it is free. So it works pretty well. I have it currently set to show the death dates and the cause of death on the actual card itself from the main screen. You can also click in to see more details if you so choose. When I share the link out to all of you, you will also have to select which things you want to see by using the filters down here on the bottom of your screen. First, we have our founders, Runar and Riona. Riona, unfortunately, was gone way too soon. She was one of our first big, well, probably our first big significant loss in the challenge. And of course, like many of the women you will see on this family tree, she died in childbirth. Runar was a fisherman, a craftsman, and a farmer. He was a jack of all trades, never really mastered anything, but took very good care of his family. He was devastated by Riona's loss. And we all 
grew to love Mr. Runar. Sincerely, a wonderful sim, a whole lot of fun to play with. So these guys, well, yeah, why not? Okay, yeah, look at this overall craziness. Just look at it. So this is overall after almost 50 years. Yeah, I don't really know where to put my camera. So Runar and Riona, it's so spread out. <laughs> All right. So Folk is the heir. So he was the first son. I'm going to skip him for just a moment. And we're going to pop over to the first daughter, who is a Thora. So Thora was the first daughter. And I'm just skipping Folk because he's the heir. And we'll go into more about him after we cover the other children really quickly. So Thora was the first daughter. She ended up marrying Sullivan who died during the famine. She was devastated by that and their daughter died not long after from dysentery and she married Sullivan's, oh, I'm blanking. Was it his brother or his uncle? I don't 100% remember, but a relative because when Sullivan died, he was obviously the head of the estate and he didn't have an heir. So it went to the next available family member who was Walter and he offered to marry Thora and take her under his wing. They had Henry in 1321. So Catherine was born in 1315 and Henry wasn't born until 1321. Then Thora unfortunately lost two babies i don't have the death date in for these two i'm assuming um but they both passed away so all she ended up with was her beautiful son henry who married rosalie and they are they're pumping them out let me tell you they're they're both currently alive and they're pumping out babies current heir of their family is nathaniel born in 1334 and then we have Jacob and Charles were twins. Jacob passed away. Charles survived. We have Margaret, Thomas, Catherine, who is named after this Catherine and somehow looks quite a bit like her. I'm not really sure how that one happened, but here we are. We have Catherine and Alexandria. They are out of order for some reason, but that is one of our side household families, the, the Wainwrights from the presentation previously. This is them. And for right now, they're all doing pretty good. Um, Thora is up there in age and we might be saying goodbye to her soon. So Runar and Riona then had Mare. Mare's story is a little bit special. The family currently doesn't know where she is. She kind of disappeared. Um, but this is where things get a little tricky. So Mare had a marriage with Randall. Um, arranged. She, she was very discontent in her life. She felt like there was more to life than just being a housewife and having kids. And she was thirsty for knowledge. And that ends up getting her in a little bit of trouble. But she married Randall and she did what she felt was her duty, which was to have children. She had three boys. She had Felix, Radcliffe, and Haywood. They are all currently living. Um, however, their wives have not had quite as good of luck. So Felix is on his second wife and Haywood is on his second wife. Radcliffe has not married. He rolled to not marry. We do not currently have a storyline as to why he has not married, but he has not gotten married and he won't be getting married. But Felix married Zahia. They had these beautiful twins. Dorothy, unfortunately, passed away. Felix has now married Isabel. Isabel is currently pregnant as I am recording this video. She is, I believe, actually in labor at the moment, and I have not allowed her to have her baby yet because I'm not ready to film the next episode. But so she has another little one on the way. Felix rolled to only have three kids. I forgot to mention Henry from the Wainwright side household. I think he rolled to have like 12. So that's why he has so many. But Felix is only supposed to have three tries. So two more. Um, and right now he has Regina and then Haywood married Alice, who was a very close friend to our main household. And Alice, um, unfortunately passed away. And, um, I don't know why the cause of death isn't showing up for some of these right now. Pr 
probably a failure on my part. Alice died in childbirth. And so did the baby. So that was very unfortunate luck. He married Celianor and they have Cecilia Stringfellow, who is just a little bub right now. So that is the current situation with that side household. Mare, um, she ran off with a vampire, but we have split the occult fantasy stories off into its own series, which is not out yet. I'm working on it, okay? I am working on it. But... For the purpose of our story, they don't really know what happened to her. So, but she did run off and marry a vampire. Little do they know. <laughs> but so Bran was born in 1303, was the stillborn. Oscar and Saga were born in 1304. So Oscar died in 1309. Um, I don't know why it's not on there. And then his twin Saga was stillborn. Then we had Rune and Thor born. Rune is still alive, but there is a twist. <laughs> we covered that earlier. There's a little bit of a twist there, but he is still alive. He is married to John. Obviously, it's in secret, not recognized at this time. Um, and Thor passed away in 1316 at 10 years old, his twin. And that really affected Rune a lot. So um, Rune kind of faked his death and ran off, but the family some of them now know that he's alive we just covered that in our last episode that story they're all getting older that generation we're kind of putting that to bed so we're trying to tie up any loose ends in those stories i'm sorry if you can hear tiny snoring i i try you guys it's, it's it look at him he just looked at me funny <laughs> stop snoring bud so that is Riona's kids she was a busy 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 lady okay girl girl was busy she was, she was getting it done but when Riona passed when Riona passed away Runar was devastated but he knew he had to take on another wife he had all these kids and couldn't really care for them by himself he's a man he's not equipped for that during this time period so he went and sought himself a second wife. He married Harmony and she ended up being one of our favorites overall in the community, I think. She held us down, y'all. Harmony held us down. I have to be honest, y'all. I don't remember exactly when they got married. It was either like 1306 or 1307, but it took a while for them to have a baby. I do remember that. So the fact that he was born in 1308, maybe it was 1306. I don't, I don't think it was like immediately after Riona died. I don't know. But regardless, they had Sawyer. So Sawyer was born. Runar was really going through a difficult time with this. Like he didn't want Harmony to die in childbirth. So he like withheld himself from her for quite a while. So they had Sawyer in 1308 and they did not have another child until 1320. He was so relieved that she survived having Sawyer that he was like, we are not risking your life again. Okay. <laughs> Um, and, but eventually it happened as these things do, especially when you don't have means of preventing pregnancy. They had Huxley in 1320 and they had Delwyn in 1330, very late stage pregnancy, very risky for Harmony. And unfortunately, Delwyn did pass away in 1332, but Sawyer survived and has had a big family so far. I believe he rolled to have like 10 or 12 kids. And he's on his last couple now. So he's done well. He did marry Daisy. Now, Daisy was from a very prominent family in our save file. And we've had some deeper discussions about the issues of race in the context of history. Her father was a very well-respected artisan in the area. And it was they were very wealthy so it was almost like Sawyer was marrying up in the world and her dad wasn't thrilled about it but they got together and they've had a beautiful family they did not have great luck at first so they've had they had three children before one survived so Amina Bell and Mac all died we had 1325 1327 and 1329 Bell did live a few years she was three when she died 
it was looking pretty grim for these two for a while. And then they had a day. He was born in 1331. And then they had Kofi. He was born in 1332. And then they had some more bad luck. Amari and Bakari both passed away upon birth. And then we had Zuri and Nia. So they're doing okay now. They do have a solid number of babies, but it's basically been a 50-50 thing for them. 50% of their children have lived and 50% of them have died. Huxley did not marry. He rolled to not get married. I do not have his wife on here, but he does have one. See, I'm going to find these issues as we go. I will have to add her photo later because it's on an external drive. But she's a very pretty redheaded lady and they are not going to have any children. She's the sister to Alice, who, if you remember, oh, I'll have uh, Margaret is the sister to Alice who passed away and married Haywood. This thing just loves to jump around on me. That pretty much wraps up Harmony's side of things. Harmony did pass away. Y'all, I don't have her death date recorded, so that's why it's not on there. Um, but she did live a pretty long and happy life and it was very devastating when she died there are some details i still need to go back and add and these are details that i do not currently have recorded and i have to go back to the videos for uh, but if you have that handy and you happen to know let me know and i will add that now to our heir folk so runar and riona's first child survived and his name is folk and he has now spun a whole web of additional things so folk it looks like this is his first wife it's not so we have to come all the way over here folk married lassie we loved a little folk and lassie relationship they are just they were folk and lassie had it a little bit rough their first three children died they had three sons um edgar died of the famine um, Esmond died. Uh, they wouldn't know like he died sleeping. We call it died sleeping, but it would be like SIDS today is kind of what I'm doing with that one. And then they had Edric who died of failure to thrive, essentially died as an infant. Then they had Edward who is our current heir. And after that, they had Elwine and Elfrida. So Elwine and Elfrida are twins. They were born in 1321. Elfrida died having her first child. It was very unfortunate. She married Rufus Goodwell. He's turning into kind of a main character in our story. Not really. He's like a side side household. So we have some households that aren't technically side households, but we like incorporate them into our storylines and such. I guess he is because he's married to Willow now. She's not on our family tree, but if you watch the series, you know who Willow is. So unfortunately, she was my favorite character when this happened, and it was devastating. But she passed away having Jade. Folk and Lassie went on to have Eleanor and Edith, who are twins. Eleanor and Edith are twins, born in 1323. Both are currently alive. Eleanor, um... <laughs> Decided to be a mistress. She currently has one child with the man. It is Lord Hugh Langhorn. I don't have him recorded here because we haven't really finished that story to find out if he's even going to recognize her children or not. But she's currently a mistress to a lord. And then Edith married Linton, who is like a farrier slash blacksmith. They've had Louise and Eliza and Edric. Um, Eliza and Edric were twins and Edric died. And then the last child that Lassie had was Emma. And that unfortunately, Lassie did not make it through that birth. And that baby did not survive either. When that all went down, Folk did marry Mary. But before he married Mary, he married Embla. Um, Embla was keeping a little secret from him and was pregnant. And Folk was almost about to accept that whole situation, accept the child as his, even though he had suspicions. But then that child died and he felt like he didn't, you know, didn't really have an obligation at that point to cover up for her. So he did annul that marriage under the pretense that, or under the understanding with the church that she married him under false pretenses. And then folk went back to, Mary. So he he was like torn between Imbla and Mary and Mary was kind of a little standoffish in ways. 
And Emblo is all about it for, you know, we know the reasons why now. And he felt like to be a man of his word, he had to marry her. Even though Mary finally came around, he had already promised himself to Embla. La da 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 da. All the other stuff happened. You know, he had suspicions the baby wasn't his. The baby died. Um, Embla, you know, admitted it and he was able to move on. So Mary came back into his life. They got married and they had Riona named after the founder who passed away quite early from childbirth but unfortunately we don't have very good luck with naming our sims after other sims because riona died in 1335 died sleeping again runaldo throwback to runar our founder he did not make it he lived three years and died and right now we have oscar the second with Mary Ann Folk, born in 1340. He is currently still living. So then we must, we must come back over here to Folk and find Edward, the next heir, born in 1319, did not have great luck either. So first he married Florence. Turns out Florence, she wasn't exactly very fertile and... Like, she had complications with her pregnancies, too. Lost their first two children. Fiona, kind of a throwback to Riona. She passed away. Failure to thrive in 1335. Finn, a male heir, born and died. They don't know what happened to him. He had an unknown illness. Then Florence had faith, and she died in childbirth, having faith. Um... Edward sees Faith as an unwanted child in our current situation right now. That's Mods at work. He did not want that baby. Um, he hates children. Um, long story short, it was very rough for him. And he does see her as an unwanted child, which is really impacting Faith and her development and the person she's turning out to be. When Florence died, Edward pretty much got a male or order bride, like what we would probably see as a male order bride. Um, Joan needed a husband and long story short, just came, boom, married him. And Edward hates children, but he knows what he has to do. So Edward is um, very focused on his career and he has done a lot in his lifetime for the squire name. He met the king. Um, we have a nice little story for the scenario where he met the king. There's a video that's like a story for that. Very fun. Um, he has turned their farming business into a nectar making business and the queen fell in love with his nectar. He's gotten to meet the king and he's selling his nectar to the castle. So he is doing great things for this family. He's also a talented archer and he really wants to fight in the Hundred Years Wars. He just has not had the opportunity yet because he was needed at the homestead with the family. But he would rather gain the king's favor by fighting in battle. He knows swordsmanship and he's a very good archer. But he just hasn't had that opportunity yet. So that's probably on the horizon if he survives the plague. That's going to determine a lot of different things. So right now our current heir is a Francis... So Joan came in, saved the day. Joan has been very, very unhappy until recently. So she had Francis and Flossie, was not happy about it, hated every minute of it. But then she had Frederick and she's currently pregnant and she was not happy about these guys, but she's actually okay with her current pregnancy. So we have three children in the current situation. Francis is technically our heir, but we are still working through Edward's heir story. That's essentially the recap. You will all let me know down below if I missed anything. I know you will, and I appreciate you for it. I know you've got me. <laughs> I will finish filling all of these in for the most part where there's no pictures it's because they died as infants or I neglected to get one sometimes when they they died at their infant role I don't always remember to to go into casts 
and give them a makeover and take their photo. But I don't think it's as important for those guys. We can just assume most of the people who don't have a picture died very young. And there's just a few exceptions in there of things that I need to go look up to be able to fill in. But I did not want to wait any longer doing this overview. So yeah, that is where we're currently at. Um, I want you to let me know what you would like to see this family get into as we go through probably the next 100 years because we um, we got through about 50 years in like a six month ish period. So I'm, I'm projecting that maybe we're going to get through another hundred. So let me know down below what you are thinking for the overall grand scheme of things. Obviously, with Edward's story, we're trying to work the family up in the world very slowly. We want to be realistic about it, okay? I'm trying for the most part within the context of The Sims and what we're capable of doing. I am trying to be somewhat accurate. Um, and any opportunities that I have to be accurate, I will take them. And when it comes to storytelling, for the most part, aside from the occult stuff, I try to make sure that we're following his, you know, historical context in, in whatever ways that we can. But we are in a fictional world with a fictional king and queen. We're not following history to a T. We're making up our own things as we go, but we're trying to stay within the context of the time period where we can. So with that in mind, let me know what you would like to see this family get into. So well, there you have it, everyone. That is our first 50 years of the Squire legacy and the plague is coming. So I believe we are going to live stream the Black Plague episode. I'm terrified, but I think we are going to do that. So keep an eye on the community tab for the announcement regarding that. Thank you all so much again. I hope that you have a fantastic 2024 and I cannot wait to keep hanging out with you. I am having an absolute blast and I hope that continues through the new year. I will be looking forward to seeing you. Thank you for watching. Bye.